DC figures and collectibles. I'm Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram. And uh, you don't need to adjust your computers or your TVs. By you're using, we're actually on the screen. I'm joined by my guest, all the, or not my guest, my co-host all the way from Stoke on Trent, England, Scott P. And you can actually see him. Yeah, you can see his, you can, uh, you know, close on your window if you want to, so you don't have to see it to look at us. Just listen to it <laughs> as we normally are. Um, but yeah, hello everybody. For the first time ever, we're on video. This is bizarre. But uh, we have a lot to talk about. We do, yes. We do. There's a lot to talk about. And um, for the first time ever, we're actually going to talk about our own setups, collections. Yeah, our own collections. Things like that. We're just pretty excited about. And now when we describe an action figure, we can actually show it to you guys. That would be cool. Yes, of just, definitely. Uh, making you guys do the work and look it up yourself. So that would be nice. But yeah, uh, it is a big week. We have a lot to talk about. We have to talk about uh, your weekend reviews. We have the Joker movie coming out in a matter of hours. Mm -hmm. We have a new Titan episode coming up when the last one was pretty good. So we have a lot of cool stuff. New York Comic Con is this weekend, right? Yep, Comic Con very, very soon. Really excited about that. Really excited. Hopefully a lot of uh, good announcements, especially we want a Joker figure, especially for the new movie. But yes. who knows? But first I want to say... Uh, how are you doing? How's the week been? It's been good. It's been sunny. Um, before we started recording this, I was almost blinded by the reflection <laughs> of the sun bouncing off the window, which was fantastic. But um, yeah, um, all good. All good over here. Sunny England for a change. Cold England, but sunny. Yeah. How are you doing? You good? I'm doing very well. I feel like uh, this week's been very busy, but I got my Joker tickets. I got... Uh... Yes. All my picks ready. I feel like I'm ready to see New York Comic Con stuff. I'm anxious to see new plastic, especially with the drought we're facing. Yeah, well, definitely. And while we're talking of Joker, there's a few things I wanted to ask you about. Now, you messaged me a few days ago showing off a uh, like behind-the-scenes look at a Joker picture you were setting up. Um, ah. For people that haven't seen it, Tyler posted this three days ago as we're recording it. So we're, we're looking, we're looking at uh, 29th of September. Go and check it out. This is Joker's pictures. Um, it's custom that he did with his, his cousin, right? You did that with your cousin? Yes. We spent a whole yeah. day trying to knock it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the setups are absolutely, well, elaborate is the words I'm going to use uh, for it. It's a phenomenal picture. How long did that take you to set up? I know, but just for the listeners. Uh, the to do the whole set, it took a bunch of foam board and uh, Kurt. <laughs> I had to go to Michael's a lot and get like glossy paper to make it look like a stage. So it took literally from like eleven thirty to uh, probably ten at night, and it wasn't done yet. And wow. I had to do the I had to do the curtains and tear up some old shirts. And cut it was them. literally like being on a movie set. It really was, but it was fun, and uh, with all this anxiety to see the movie and. Uh, all the other stuff coming up is nice to be staying busy and not just worried about uh, thinking about the movie we're going to see. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah, you know, you're the only one that I've seen actually do a custom of that Joker figure. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody else have a go at it, which is surprising the amount of custom pages there are out there. I've seen a few people do the SH Figure Arts Joker and make that into a Heath, and that looks oh, pretty God. good too. But yeah, my cousin did the painting of the actual suit and that. Because I he like really good at matching colors and mixing paint, and he did a really good. Because even though the purple looks nice, it's not you gotta have them. You gotta have it match up. Yeah, and also the you repainted the Joker right as well. The the whole suit on there, it looks fantastic. Yeah, that was what he he did. He that was tough. Amazing. I don't know how he's so good at mixing colors, but amazing, absolutely amazing. It it, it looks perfect, absolutely spot on, and. Um, that Mattel Joker figure was a fantastic base for it as well. Yes, and for those that are still looking for it, check Target because they're putting it at ten bucks now because they're over oh, wow. the Mattel. They're over the Mattel license already. They're like, okay, you're done. We don't want <laughs> yeah, you clogging up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ready to shake hands with McFarlane. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Only a few months till we get yeah. new figs. Yeah, I can't wait, man. It's not. It's not going to be too far away now, is it? We're literally what three days away from Comic Con starting, 
And uh, yeah, last big one of the year and so many things like to look forward to, exclusives, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, New York feels almost as big as San Diego sometimes. Um, it really does. So you, we see a lot of reveals, especially from like DC collectibles and that. You usually see some new stuff from them there. I hope they got something up their sleeve. But then uh, you had a good past weekend with your themes, correct? Uh, it was good fun. Certainly was. Yeah, it was really good fun. And can you tell our viewers what it, or viewers, that sounds weird now. Can you <laughs> tell the viewers <laughs> and the listeners what your theme was? Yeah, that, that is weird. It's going to take some adjusting. But uh, for the viewers and the listeners, we did um, a Nemesis theme with At The Back Collector. It was Lewis. And yeah, it was a really fun one. It was Lewis's idea. He picked the theme and we wanted to. I think to I know just... why. <laughs> yeah, we, we just wanted to go and do some classic shots of, of just people who absolutely despise one another for various reasons. And um, yeah, it, it was fantastic fun. It really was. He came up with some killer pictures. The one that he did of Superman and Luthor was just absolutely fantastic. Such a fantastic shot. And um yeah, we just wanted to try and do something a little bit, uh, a little bit different with the pictures that we had. Everyone can just do a Batman versus Joker picture, you know. It's been done yeah. a million times over. So, um, you know, the ones that he did, he, he did a Cheetah versus Wonder Woman. You got a, a reverse Flash or Zoom or whatever you want to call him versus <laughs> uh, versus the Barry Allen Flash. It's like a beautiful Flashpoint picture. Um, and then he did an Iron Man picture, which we won't mention. I think that's why he really wanted to do the whole theme. Because well, he got that sweet figure and that goes together. He's like, okay. So I'm not impressed. I got the at all. Not impressed. He did a B side of it today as well, which, which was actually quite a good picture. I'm not going to lie. Um, I love the sort of spark effects that he put on that. Really nice, uh, really nice picture. We won't talk about the Marvel spark effect. No, absolutely <laughs> not. No, but you had a. You had an absolute brilliant pick, and we talked about you getting this, uh, well, it's not a figure, but getting this custom last episode, and man, you took a picture of it that's brilliant, the lighting's brilliant, and it is the Joker, and it looks like he's facing Batman at the top of the bell tower. And where <laughs> did you take that picture at? Because that looks really good. Uh, so that is literally um, in my garage by the nice. door so that that's literally the door that where batman stood in, stood in front of and then there's like a, a big wooden pillar that joker's leaning on um and the yeah lighting it, it was person. fun is that yeah I, I, uh no it, it so i put a light directly above the joker i've got a little subtle um like iphone uh, sorry iphone ipod light uh shining from the okay from the left-hand side towards the right as you're looking at the picture and just use a bit of the atmosphere aerosol spray just to make Batman look a bit more foggy and just use a little bit of that only only a slight bit I mean I atmosphere aerosol is okay I I don't know if it's that I'm not using it properly which it probably is but I, sometimes I just find it a bit crap I'm not gonna lie to you it's not <laughs> I always find that it looks brilliant at first when you're spraying it, and then it just disappears like instantly, and you can't tell you've used it. It's a bit weird. I don't know yeah, if it's you have to be. You have to be like right on time with it to have it appear. Yeah. Also, for that amount of uh, that it costs, and for the amount that you use, it sometimes, like you said, it feels like you're wasting it, and yeah, it doesn't really justify the the purchase sometimes. Yeah, I, th I think um, I remember you said, and I, I know Lewis has said this as well. And it, it, you have to get the light sort of behind the figures and spray it from yeah. behind, so you don't you don't ruin the focus, and also you keep the um, the atmosphere within the, the picture as well, and the light shines through um, the fog. So yeah, it's okay sometimes, but um, yeah, it was good fun taking that picture. It was freezing, I've got to say, in the garage. It was worth picture. it. It's it very was, yeah. Gotham esque. You had to feel <laughs> like you were there too, Scott. Yeah, you now, have a point. You have a point. In response to this picture, you got quite a lot of shares and you even got posted on a articulated comic book art. That was that was really kind, yeah. That's a and big page. None none of this would have been possible without the amazing uh, Vincent who is at Vin Faith Custom. He yeah. um he painted the joke head. Amazing, amazing job. He's painted a few before and so I had to get him to do it because he's fantastic and really kind person so yeah really pumped that he um helped us out on that 
he's a fantastic photographer as well, not just customizing them. And I can't, NASCAR. I can't stress this enough, people, that if you see this photo, and I think you should, everything about the head sculpt is perfect, and especially the way he painted it. You can see shading yeah. around the, like the circle under Jack's eyes, and mm. just everything about it, especially the way Scott captured it with the lighting. It really looks very realistic, especially because it's also a Mezco, so soft goods. Yeah, looks yeah. And then oh, I thought that one should have got, I should have that one should have got well over a thousand likes, and you did get one that went currently sits at thirteen hundred, and it is one of my favorite new things that you got because every time you take a photo of it, it looks straight up from the movie, and it is the <laughs> the Ben Affleck's uh, by the case of like the his costume. Oh yeah, yeah. And that one got a huge response. And, just talk a little bit about that uh that setup again, especially the bat the thing that the Batman case is in because that thing is really sweet and I don't see anyone have that. Well, as we're on video, I can actually show you the case properly. Ah, okay. The ones, yeah. So th this okay, is the, the case. Cool. There's probably a terrible. <laughs> there's probably a terrible angle now. Not only that, I should plug it in so you can actually see the full light effects. It plugs in at the back. So there we go. Can't really see it as well on camera here. It looks, there we go. It, oh, I it really, it really is an amazing piece. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, and uh, um, yeah. So it, it's based off the Dark Knight trilogy, as you can obviously tell by the the logo at the back there. Uh -huh. where you can see his reflection, but um, yeah, it's based off the Dark Knight series, and they when you know Bruce has moved into um, sort of underground um, back cave. It's not really a back cave, but anyone who's seen the trilogy will know um, what I'm talking about. So it's based on that, and it, it's a fantastic piece. It really is. It's got a wonderful blue light that's, uh, that runs through it, and it kind of looks like the DC EU suit uh, chamber as well. So that's what I wanted to try out first with it. And, um, yeah, so I did two pictures of that. I did one a few weeks before for the DC EU theme with Lewis, and then um, I kept this and just re sort of posed Ben Affleck and moved a few things around in the setup and, and kept that picture as well because it was um, good fun taking those sort of pictures and something different as well. I didn't use a computer screen background, just use my wallpaper background, um, as you can see behind me right now. Um, yeah, just use that as the background and um, yeah. That's just even kind of kept it simple. Just tried to keep it simple. And isn't that sometimes just the way it goes where it's simple and it just... is? people really love and react to it yeah i mean the reaction was super kind and again articulated comic book art really kind of them to share it it really does mean a lot and yeah your kind words and, and people's comments really does mean a lot um it, it's super kind of people now there's a photo that you've teased for i think two or three episodes now and we finally did it and it looks really cool and a lot of people may hate the movie but who cares? You can't hate on this picture. It's from Justice League, and it is when uh, Aquaman is about to go into the water, and Bruce is trying to recruit him oh, to come yeah. help him. And you've been talking about this location for a bit and describing it, and it almost yeah. is exactly how you describe because it does look exactly like that scene. So oh, how is yeah. that? Did you have to drive a while to find that spot, or is it near you? No, again, that's from um, the same place that did like the waterfall picture of Aquaman. It's the uh, uh -huh. Reservoir. It's an amazing place, man. It really is, and as I've said to you before, we'll definitely go there one day, do some pictures because there's so many cool locations. I've actually been there this morning as well, do some pictures uh, for an Other upcoming teams. theme. Yeah, do do some pictures for an upcoming theme, which is going to be fun. And um, yeah, I, I, it's such a, a staggeringly beautiful location. It, it's a massive lake. You've got so many little um, openings in the lake as well by the sort of side of the um, the river, the waterfall. So many beautiful places, man. And um, yeah, that Mattel figure. I met, remember messaging you about it, saying, "Oh, is it any good?" The um, the Aquaman figure, and you were just like, hey, "It's a fantastic figure. You got to get it." It's like sweet. So brought yeah. it straight away, and yeah, got it for a cracking deal. And just put the Mezco head on it. And then there's one other th was one other thing. Was well, but before I get to the last picture, I really want to talk about. I really have to say that uh, lately, you've been the thing I really enjoyed about your account is not only the originality with the pictures and different setups but i feel like lately you've been doing pretty equal 50 50 extremely cool outdoor shots as well as indoor setups because you have uh, pictures like the batman from the dark knight trilogy 
uh, with the bat bat pod, and yeah. you have such a cool like shot and perspective with uh, using the garage. That I think it looks like a parking garage, but yeah. like that sort of thing, and where you're going and like traveling to different locations and doing like at least you're not just putting a figure out and outdoors and snapping a picture <laughs> and be like there it is, folks. But you're actually going and like cre- creating a story, and well, I just think when I love anytime people use a. Uh, like the garage it's just a very nice perspective it has a lot of symmetry and i just love that sort of thing so that's i feel like i didn't talk about that last time so i just wanted to make sure i talked about it now yeah well that picture in particular was kind of inspired by the bat cycle picture that you took outdoors to be honest um oh. the animated one because <laughs> the like the play on perspective you did i was like that's a really clever idea if you sort of put the background far enough away that you know it looks like it's in scale and that's something that i definitely um take inspiration from you with because you don't see that many batman figures actually shot outdoors in sort of real world dioramas for want of a better word uh, word so yeah yeah definitely something i purposely wanted to um to do and that that um parking garage is where i park at work every day now the picture a few days before it of batman and robin stood on the edge and i said to you that's um that's from the top of a multi-story car park that is literally on the floor next to the ed- like the edge of that as well as uh, the batman uh, took okay. the batman picture a week before that and um yeah i decided to keep it and, and, and use it but there's so many cool places you can find pictures for i mean I, you find pictures all over the place for place that you know for figures and like the joker figure that you did the clay face picture as well so many cool different locations you can find it and it doesn't always have to be a batman picture as you did like i say with clayface stuff like that it's fantastic yeah i've, I've really enjoyed uh i feel like we've been ta- since we've been talking about outdoor shots a lot we've been inspiring each other to go outdoors so i think it's been a lot more fun yeah, but it definitely has. before i just say that the picture you posted this morning is absolutely brilliant and it's just sheer posing, especially with Batman. It looks like he's actually re- like just the left leg, the way it's posed. Just like ah, oh, it's just it's a really good posing. But not <laughs> despite that, I want to say congratulations on a big milestone that you had recently, and that is crossing into 10k double digits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're already at 10.1. Oh, You're flying. I can't believe it. It's crazy, man. It honestly is ridiculous. Um, I didn't even realize it was close. Um, to be honest, and then like overnight, it just went to 10k. I was like, what the hell, what the hell's happened here? Um, <laughs> yeah, it was absolutely nuts, and the reaction to, to that has been so kind, really has. And, um, you know, I want to say a big thank you to yourself and um, to people like Figure Fan Nate, Jesse, who was at Neronian, Lewis at the Bat Collector, uh, Kevin, who was at Ranky Customs. So many people have been like awesome and supporting along the way. So, um, yeah, massive thanks to to everybody and everyone who follows. You know, um, it, it, it honestly is amazing, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Well, Never thought it'd, it'd get anywhere near that, to be honest. Well, it couldn't happen to a better person. Because That's very kind. Thank you. Oh, your setups and your passion. I'm surprised it didn't happen a lot earlier. <laughs> so hopefully, this is just super the, kind. Thank you. The start of continued rapid growth. And you're not doing too bad yourself. Thirty-two point two. That's mad. I've been doing it a long time, way long. <laughs> so, <laughs> you sounded like Bruce Wayne then. Ah, uh, that would be nice. I hope I have his money soon. That would be nice. real nice. <laughs> but yeah, you've congratulations. You absolutely killed Thank it. You. And then, you, what is the uh, weekend theme coming up? If you're allowed. To say? Oh well, now this is an interesting one. Um, this weekend, again, without the back collector, uh, we are going to be doing a storytelling weekend. So. Over our five posts, we kind of just tell our each individual story five steps of the way. So that's going to be fun. It's going to nah. be fun. Yeah. Any any hints of what you can possibly be planning so we get ah. a, an idea of what you mean by storytelling? Um. Oh, how to? Because you pretty much blow. tell a story with every picture. Thank you. That's no, that's kind. And um, I, I want to tell. A, a quite a widespread story with lots of characters and okay. and well it won't be Marvel so you know sorry to like over two down days 
over the two days you're going to do continuous thing that's connecting oh yeah. that would be sweet yeah so I, I had the idea when i was watching a justice league episode so there's a there's a hint for you but um, surprise surprise <laughs> I, I know would you have thought you know, it, you know it's never happened before but um yeah, so I had the idea then. I was like, do you know what? I, I kind of mapped out my own story in my mind. I was like, well, I could either have a go at this myself or we, I'll see if Lewis fancies doing it for a theme. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. So I can't wait to see what he does because he hasn't given me any hints of, of what he's going to do. There's something really good then. Yeah, yeah I know well, if I have it. something really yeah. good, I don't even want to give a hint. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's going to be fun. I, I think he'll come up with some cool story. Yeah. Uh, storytelling because i mean that's how we originally got into this weekend collaboration we did like a crossover where hush was going you know going around killing people dressed as batman you know, we went around and killed the riddler and then batman came in to take him out the um, early days yeah the early days that was literally the first ever <laughs> collaboration we did back way back when so and yeah that's gonna be back. good fun um but yeah that's gonna be fun and actually talking of collaborations you've been doing a few collaborations with something a little bit different what you oh. be doing yes and it was very very odd and self-conscious but i just did it because they put their faith in me but i want to say a thank you to uh zavi that's z-a-v-v-i it's a company in the uk uh they reached out to me via email and asked if i would like to help uh, promote their new upcoming joker heist collection and it's a really high-end looking clothes and i got i got them right here so here i don't know if you can see but that's yes. how the back looks of a nice sweater. And they got even like at the bottom, they got an embroidered like card here, which is awesome. It's very thick. It'll keep you warm, especially if you are in the UK. <laughs> and then this is one I showed off yesterday. It's like the Ace shirt, Ace Chemicals, and has the classic Joker on the back. So big thank you to them. They also sent out a few horror shirts too. So I'll, I'll be doing some more, so, some more shoots. And I think it's funny shooting myself and I th like one of them was a uh, photoshop in and I'd made a meme of myself as well so it's fun something different it's just also funny like showing myself and I don't want to be too serious because I don't want people to think that I think I look good but it is <laughs> what funny was it? what was it like <laughs> self-conscious or worried or you just go for it oh I mean it, it was worried but I just try not to think about it too much because yeah. I feel like even with like if you do a photo and you start to think about it too much especially when you think it's kind of like a joke or messing around like oh people i don't know they might not get it or they might not think it's funny yeah do i post it and then if you do and you end up saying oh people get it but yeah it was it was especially that one with the joker makeup i was like hopefully people don't think i've gone mad just like the joker but <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting and it, it's fun and if you guys are looking for uh some cool gear especially for the joker premiere coming up or just in general uh, I would take a look at Zavi, I, and I put a. If you want to see me look like a clown in person, you could go check out the Instagram page, and there's you could find them. I've tagged them, but yeah, I'm glad that I only got those pictures out of the way. Mm. Yeah, just don't, <laughs> just don't, just don't cosplay to any Joker uh, viewing. At the movie, you'll get, a, yeah, you'll get a police <laughs> policeman come with a bat and start hitting you with it. So yeah, don't don't do that. Uh, no, I yeah, the movie the movie experience is going to be interesting this week. Yeah, it is. I, I honestly don't understand some of the, the things people have been saying or some of the things that the police want to do. But anyway, that that's how it is. You know, they'll do anything. To, <laughs> they'll do anything to uh, kill the joy of a DC movie. It seems. Oh yeah, and I think a lot of it is also purposely uh, pushed out in the media by competing companies that we won't name. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm glad that hopefully you found some of those pictures fun. Yeah, I oh, definitely did. Yeah, um, did, you've been doing loads of fun pictures this week. The uh, few shout outs, the Prophecy of Doom picture, really nice, really enjoyed that. You cleverly used the grapple hook of the uh, teenage ninja turtle Batman. Yes, yeah, it was really that cleverly one, used because we talk about and because I'm, I'm glad that you've started experiencing this with me that doing episodic shots on certain Batman episodes suck. Especially Prophecy of Doom. Absolutely does, yeah. Couldn't agree more. I was like, it, it's ridiculous. I was really trying to think of the a cool picture. And so this is like the best I could come up with the episode. I'm pretty happy with it. Especially because mm. I'm glad I spent the money on that extreme set uh, elevator pack. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah that's, that elevator pack is, is not been used for 
an elevator yet by you. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's how versatile it is. <laughs> but I'm glad that you like that because that's one I've been I was stressing over trying to get a nice picture of. Yeah. Actually, we've been talking about outdoor photography. You did an outdoor picture of the Kingdom Come Superman and Flash. Now, that Kingdom Come Superman is going to be one of the most sought-after figures. I'm so glad I got it. In existence. <laughs> I, I've been looking for one this week, and inflation is killing me, man. It's already um, gone up? Yes, it has. It's oh, already it's... gone up, and most of them cease to exist. I really want the Alex Ross one. really want to get that figure, but I just can't find it anywhere. But, um, yeah, that picture that you did of uh, Supes and Flash, really nice. That's the Icons Flash, isn't it? Yes, from the 7-pack. Amazing, amazing figure. I love all the Flash, um, or lightning strikes, should say. I mean, it looks fantastic. Yeah, and that's a, I thought for the longest time I wanted to get the original Flash. that came with the treadmill, because it's a treadmill. Yeah. It's sick, it's from the comics. But he just looked very plain, and also, like you said, inflation for that guy went up quick. So mm. I got this, and I'm pretty happy with it. I like all the line work and designs. Yeah. I that's love funny that you said that come. about the King of Come, because I started oh. to see a lot more pictures of him recently since the Brandon He's Rusha. fantastic. Yeah, Joe Malone posted a superb picture of him. Um, oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not much for the Arrowverse, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it now. They've they've stepped up their game with the suits. It's, it's funny when you see the, um, uh, who's the guy that plays Superman. Is it Tyler? What's his name? I can't remember his name. It's Tyler something, the guy who plays Superman in the Arrowverse. Then you've got um, Brandon alongside him, and he just looks so much cooler than the actual Superman. And he um, like, way bigger, like actual superhero. Yeah, the actual the guy Superman looks like looks his little brother. Yeah, he looks his little brother in cosplay. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's genuinely really funny. Um, I do have to <laughs> worry, though, about taking outdoor shots, because I found out something that was kind of... It wasn't creepy, but... It was funny how quickly it happened because I went to a desert. I live in a desert to take that photo. Yeah. And I was on the ground laying on a towel I brought. And I was trying to get these pose well. So I was down there for like five or six good minutes. And then I noticed that I heard some like cawing of some crows. So I look up and I'm getting like circled by like 20 or 30 crows thinking I must be like a dying animal or something. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, wow. My. Jesus. <laughs> so, there are hazards. The shooting oh, out Jesus, that sounds horrific. Yeah, and I know. I was like, ignored them at first, and I was like, "Oops." <laughs> Is that what happened? One of the one of the <laughs> first hazards. Uh, we had the hazards of toy photography and podcasting all wrapped into one. There. At least you guys know we don't edit this. <laughs> yeah, it was a live action accident, but yeah, I kind of get what you mean. Wildlife can be annoying sometimes when you're taking pictures. So I was trying to do a picture. It was for a theme a few weeks ago of uh, Lantern and Hawk Girl stood together. Um, and as I'm setting up this picture, a squirrel flies down from this tree and starts having a little nosy round of what's going on. So he starts coming around to the side of the picture. He's looking at me. Then he moves to the other side. He keeps looking and edging closer. And he eventually went away. But um, yeah, certainly intrigued as to what was going on. I should have tried to get him in the picture, but I couldn't figure the angle out. You must have thought Wonder Woman was looking nice. <laughs> uh, brilliant but yeah wildlife can be annoying sometimes yeah and that's interesting to note so if you guys ever see kingdom come superman you better pounce on him in the store yes oh god yeah definitely i've been looking around for him and can't find him anywhere it, it's looks such a cool figure definitely i mean something about an older grizzled superhero like batman or superman you just can't resist it yeah, it's so true. Like, the Dark Knight Returns is one of the most popular Batman, and you know, Kingdom Come Superman now is getting you know a lot of love that it deserves too. Um, and we're going to see the Red Sun Superman as well next year on yes. DCAU um, on DCAU where sort of and Death in the off. Family. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's wow! So be, many cool things coming up. It'll be interesting. And then I know you haven't been able to see it yet but i did want to just give a little titans update that, that it's getting really really good mm. that's all it i'll say really i don't good. want to spoil it for anyone yeah. who hasn't it's, seen it's it, looking good this is like if you enjoyed last season this is like three times better because like we talked about and especially you brought up before scott that uh because they started to really pick up their pace at the end and it, the ending started to really feel like they were getting in their groove 
they've picked up right from there and only are getting better. So That's I can't cool. wait till we can talk about it in great detail because yeah. you're going to enjoy it. Uh, I've not seen it, obviously, but I, from what I have seen, there's a lot more in costume going on this time. Whereas last time, obviously, the last series, I mean, I didn't personally have a problem with it, but a lot of people seem to that we didn't see a lot of uh, Dick Grayson as Robin, and you know, we didn't see Wonder Girl um, actually in costume either. Um, and even Jason Todd, we only saw him a couple of times in costume. So, uh, but whereas you know, with this new series, it looks like we're we're probably getting to see them as superheroes um, more so than as people. So, yeah, uh, it looks great. Deathstroke looks fantastic as well. I really like the um, the costume that he's got. It looks fantastic. It's not DC EU level, but it's certainly looking fantastic. I just can't wait till till you see it. Yeah, it looks a real comic book Deathstroke, whereas DCEU is like a, a video game Deathstroke, like the Arkham game. It looks like it just came straight off the screen, but it looks much more comic accurate Deathstroke. So, um, yeah, I really, really do like the look of that. And um, I've, you know, this is going to be spoilers for people, just to warn you, but I've seen the pictures of um, Nightwing. Uh... And so, yeah, I've seen those pictures. It, it's really annoying, you know, because when like, stuff like, I know it's not on the same level, but when Endgame come out, everyone was like, oh, you know, no spoilers, you know, can't do that. And everyone was waving their arms around saying, don't ruin the, <laughs> don't ruin the end game." I think that was even a hashtag, which is absolutely tragic. But um, yeah, but people don't seem to have the same feeling towards Titans and everyone's just going out of each other's way to ruin it for people, which is annoying. But Especially um, for people that pay a premium fee to, to watch that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so it's deeply annoying, but is what it is. People are always going to do that just cause for a few likes on Instagram of an exclusive picture. Uh, hopefully, we get news of announcement of figures from that show this week. Yes, McFarlane, take notes, please. Yeah, that'd be fantastic if we did. Um, and actually, while we're talking of new stuff, um, have you seen anything of the Birds of, Birds of Prey? Yes, I saw that trailer yesterday. What did you think? Uh, yeah, kind of mixed. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, so it's set in Gotham City, right? Yes. So it must be set in Joel Schumacher's Gotham City. It, yeah. The, the amount of colour going on there. Um, the curtains behind you are less colourful than that movie. <laughs> um, it's ridiculous. I, I, I don't quite understand what they're going for. Um, you know what the funniest thing is, I think, is uh, the tone doesn't match with the music no, and no. with what they were showing. And I think that they changed the song just because the Joker's getting all this hype. Because it's very, it seems like you could throw it into a Joker trailer, that song, and it would fit better. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they're, they're trying to adjust, like, mid-advertising uh, situation just because the Joker's mm -hmm. doing but that's the first thing I thought. I was like, why are they doing music that sounds like it should be in the Joker trailer? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's strange. I think they've got... Um, I think they have got a slight advantage in that Joker movies are attracting all the bad attention away from it. So yeah. people are sort of less annoyed. If that was the movie coming out, you know, then no one would, I don't think, be excited particularly for it. But because Joker's coming out, people are less sort of critical of it and kind of leaving it be a little more. Um, but, you know, if I look at Suicide Squad. That was a relatively dark movie. The only problem with it was the sort of plot line. I think the tone was okay, um, all that kind of stuff. But this one, they seem to have just gone completely nuts on the tone and everything. It's all, it's all just gone berserk. Like, Harley Quinn, if you put that picture, of Harley Quinn on screen, you would never recognise her from what she's supposed to be. You know, if someone saw um, that promo picture and you're asked to describe who it was, I don't think Harley Quinn would be someone you'd think. Um, you'd think no, the only way we know, good. the only way we know is because we've seen Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think there was much wrong with her in Suicide Squad, to be honest. And um, I think Deadshot was so important to Suicide Squad that they. Should have just waited until he was available for this movie. I know you can't shape a whole movie around one person, but Deadshot was so good that they should have waited a little bit, I think, to have Will Smith on board because um, 
I don't know, it just seems a bit crap without him. Like, who's going to be the lead character alongside Harley Quinn in that movie? I, no one Harley really Quinn. stands out. They're just going to make her, probably, yeah, because probably. she's the money bags. <laughs> she brings the money. Yeah, probably. Suicide Squad 2 looks all over the place, as well as Birds of Prey, so God knows what's going to happen. Now, I have to say, the images, visually, there's some really cool stuff. Like, I thought that seeing Harley Quinn... In the Marilyn Monroe style thing with an all red background, that's pretty to look at. It's a cool image. But like you said, unless you have seen Suicide Squad, you really wouldn't know it's Harley Quinn. Yeah. And it's cool to have a lot of pretty images, but there's a lot of movies that look good that suck. Like a lot of people think the last yeah. A lot of people think The Last Jedi is a beautiful movie, but that's super controversial. Um people think Endgame is beautiful, but a lot of people say it lacks in story. People that will admit something like that will say it doesn't have that great of a story. But there are tons of beautiful looking films and uh, the Joker is going to be beautiful. But what's going to separate that and what most people say is, oh, the acting, Joaquin Phoenix. We're talking about that thing, the story. They're not saying, oh, it's beautifully shot. It's like, almost every movie you can make a movie look good nowadays. So yeah. uh, the trailer looks cool, but it's supposed to. It's a trailer. We don't know anything yeah. really. So I don't know if yeah. I'm looking forward to it any more or less. It's cool to look at. It was cool to watch, but I don't know if I want to pay 12 bucks plus another 10 for snacks at a movie theater to watch. (laughs) Yeah, it's very strange, isn't it? The tone doesn't quite seem 100% in sync with it yet, so it's going to be interesting, and I think Suicide Squad 2 will be the same, and like I say, Suicide Squad 2, they should have just waited for Will Smith to come back in, I think, personally. I did like uh the the shot of huntress when she's wearing the motorbike and she flips it up because when they show the side profile it does look like the little wing she would have the mask Mm. so i thought that was a cool little touch even though i would prefer she just had the actual mask and real comic costume yeah i didn't get why they just ruined all the comic costumes uh, because normal people that would just like why are they wearing that so they got to try to make it realistic but yeah very strange at least we got something to look at hopefully we get more stuff to look at yeah. Hope so, yeah. Hope so. Like, when's it meant to be coming out? Is it mid next year or early next year? So. February. So it's actually only a few months away. Not too far away then, yeah. Looking forward to seeing what it's all about a bit further to the time and what the storyline's going to be. And if you and McGregor is not wearing the black mask in the movie, Ooh. I'll be furious. That's the biggest thing that's pissing me off about it so far. It's like, why? Same. We know what you look like. We know you're a good actor. We don't have to see your face. Yeah, I've seen some very sort of camp pictures of him, and that's about it so far. It's yeah, the movie so far looks very. It's like camp and tough guy drag. Mm. That's, yeah, <laughs> I've heard yeah, someone describe is. something. So that's uh. Speaking of things to see, we are going to be able to uh, show off our collections today, right? This is something that I really was excited to do. So um, it's your idea, and, and yeah, and you've you've had some homework this week as well with. Uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scott gave me homework and it sucked. Yeah, we've had some work in progress <laughs> pictures sent to me over the week. And uh, yeah, I, even just from the first glimpse of your shelf there, I can see that you, you've definitely been tidying up. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing your collection because it looks, I can already see a bit of it. It looks huge. Yeah, and that's only a part of it. I have like the Star Wars collection over there. So you only get DC today. Well, oh, maybe- nice. But yeah, and instead of uh, doing the episode review today, Scott decided that uh, it'd be cool since we're doing visual podcasts that we show off our collection. And that's why I had the homework. And even though it sucked, it needed to be done. And I got a lot of stuff. I actually found a lot of accessories I thought I lost. So that was good. (laughs) Yes. So come on, let's have let's have a tour. Come on. I want to see it. You want me to go first? All right. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really excited. Let me flip this bad boy. I know how to do it. How do you do it, Scott? Tap, should tap the screen. Just tap Here the screen. we go. There you go. All right. Oh, the neck of Dio. Yes. Well, first, we got the cave set up. Oh, nice. Superman, his hips suck, as you guys know. He's taking a nap. He, he looks yeah. quite relaxed. So Al- he does- <laughs> Alfred, Alfred looks like he's dozed off as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred had some CBD tea. <laughs> but yeah, uh, here's the, the back cave setup. I just moved it as part nice. of the home. 
here's the... Oh, there's the Joker. It looks fantastic. Yeah, even his shoes got painted. No more white spats. Oh, it looks fantastic. Beast Kingdom oh, in the background. That I Wonder Woman and Flash look nice. Also yeah. put the soap fantastic. studios up front. Because those are... They need oh, to be shown. Oh, that Joker. Fantastic. Dark side in the back. Your boy, Steppenwolf. And then I took inspiration from your pictures when you showed me yours because I put the Batman and Robin from the Turtles yes. up front. One of the okay. greatest... Oh, Batman. there he is. There's Hugo Strange. Oh, no, not Hugo. No, Bruce Wayne, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> almost. <laughs> I got you. Then a, that bad boy. One of the better... Oh, man down. Oh, but Aquaman looks fantastic. And then the Cyborg doesn't get enough love. And that's my favorite Superman figure. Yeah, he's fantastic. He really is. And oh, the animated stuff. Love it. Yeah, let's get some background. It's more of this stuff is a little bit moved around since I've been in it. And I have to... Here's a spare Joker bot. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's taking a nap. Ooh, Batman Beyond. This guy with the, the broken face. Ankle. Oh, God, suffer from the same problem. Baby doll back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a Batman Forever Forever Easter egg. Oh, awesome, yeah. And this is the Mattel shelf. Oh, that looks cool. Really like that. That croc looks enormous compared to everyone else. Man Bat had a sneak I, in I, back. <laughs> yeah, I can see Man Bat just peering up uh, above Martian Manhunter. Harley's that two dead. that two face you got there as well. He's a fantastic figure. That multi yeah, face. Yeah, that's you talked me into that around this time last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I did. So, speaking of Huntress, that's oh, how Huntress I didn't realize you had that Huntress. So I should take some pictures of her. Yeah, that's how she should look. Yeah, agreed. Classic Manta. Uh, Young Justice Batman that came with the dial. And then here we start to go to the new Batman Adventures. Which uh, the new, I don't know if you agree, but the <laughs> I don't know if you agree, but the new adventures just look so much more beautiful than the animated series ones on the shelf. I think it must just be the colours. They look amazing together. Yeah, they do have more of a brighter colour scheme. But yeah, I do tend to forget that I have that freeze though. <laughs> Riddle then, looks fantastic. Here's a Here's some of our DC collectibles at the start, but it's a mixture of DC collectibles and Mezco and other stuff. But I got the Marvel Select in the very back, the Danny DeVito Penguin. Oh, no joke. Mayfex Bane's back there. Oh, yeah, the Mayfex Bane. Yeah, he's a fantastic figure. Here we start to go into some Justice League figs. Ocean Master as well. That looks I just got found that mare behind my dresser, so that was good. <laughs> Dr. Psycho, I didn't really want him, but now that he's going to be in Harley Quinn's animated series, it's actually good timing. Mm. Dark Knight, Wonder oh, Woman. Shazam as well. Savannah. A couple goons in the back. Oh, and there's the uh, Kingdom Come Superman, the man hey. of the hour. <laughs> the man of the hour. The hot... Dang, I might yeah. sell him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> then oh, here's Luther some... as well. Some collect and connects together. Little uh, Spidey. Ah, mm. oh, the Night Monkey. The Night Monkey. <laughs> that uh, Scarecrow looks good as well. That, he yes. looks really cool. For an older figure, I think this is the best looking older figure I got. This is like early 2000s mm. and he's still looks It's good. hard to argue with that. And that KG Beast as well, he, he really does look fantastic alongside all of those um, really imposing. Yeah, I need, to, uh, I need to do more pictures of him and especially this guy. Getting him out yesterday, I want to take a picture of Ocean Master. Oh, Ocean Master looks good. Yeah, I can get him on Prime at the minute. I'm very tempted. Oh, Bruce Wayne, he looks fantastic. Yeah, I need to figure out a spot for him. And then there's the Batmobile. There's no nice. way I could get him. Just got to show that off. Oh, that's a fantastic <laughs> poster. Yeah, my sister got it for me. So that I had looks to get... amazing. It looks huge as well if, like, when you put it next to the... <laughs> it's full on, it. it's it's full on movie it. theater. <laughs> And uh, just for different decorations, I got like that clock. Uh, stuff well, that I picture did. looks nice. I bet you should take a cool Justice League picture. I've done a few. Yeah, I've done a few Aquaman pics. Nice. 
But yeah, that's basically my setup. Just did this for the background. I gotta take some more pics of this guy today since his movie's coming out. Yes, definitely looking forward to seeing that. Where'd you get the gun for him, by the way? The gun looks pretty cool. Okay, that is Harvey's from the Soap Studio. Ah. Oh, he doesn't get to sense use now. Yeah. <laughs> His Joker is much cooler. There's yeah. my last. There's the, that's where I do all the editing. That's a little bit more messy. <laughs> TV. Had to actually get a floodlight. <laughs> oh, awesome. The lighting here stinks. You got the neck of Dio there as well. Yeah, I need to flip this. There we go. Now you don't have to see my messy room. <laughs> now I get to enjoy. Oh. <laughs> As Scott takes over. That never gets old. He just calmness and then he just flies off the uh, stand. Uh, oh, it's an awesome setup, man. It really is. I love all the uh, multiverse figures together and the DC collectibles. Just so many awesome figures thrown together. I love it. I'm definitely one that likes to mix and match. <laughs> I don't want to be a slave to DC collectibles or Mattel. No, no, <laughs> God no. And with McFarlane coming out, I could think you may have to get another bookcase. Yeah. Or well, I use the NECA thing, but. It's also such a pain anytime I want to use it to just take all the figures off. So. Yeah. Do so you keep the Neca, Neca Dio in position all the time then? Or do you collapse it or? No, I leave it usually up in position. I usually yeah. take it apart depending on the picture, but right. yeah. Because it, it looks huge, that thing. I've been tempted, but there's no way to put it. Yeah, it's, it's huge. So <laughs> you just have to leave it in the garage if you do get it. I even thought about doing that sometimes, but it's like, nah. <laughs> Once I get ruined. But it is your turn. Yeah, it's right. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's begin. Let's begin. Right. I've seen your stuff before, and it's cool. Oh, no, there is your page. Oh, I've never seen the flat, the flat, there, <laughs> there it is. That's the Kingdom Come Superman that I was on about. Uh, right, so there's a stupid stand that I was complaining about before the podcast. That is yeah, that's way more legit than mine. It's absolutely useless <laughs> in, every, in every possible way. Um, my lighting's less advanced. That, there are the lights that I use. Oh, ring lights! Mm. They really yeah, are fantastic. Got so many, yeah, loads of different settings on them. Uh, got say, no wonder your pictures have been crazy lately. Oh, so you can change the the color of the base to whatever you want. What? Yeah, so yeah, really really cool thing. That's awesome. Um, a fan to be rid of the atmosphere aerosol spray <laughs> if it if it doesn't do it itself within five seconds so i am um, i'm going to show you this sort of smaller part first those lights so are... if i just step back a bit to give you the full idea now th those in the corner here let's start with these That's so right. the two meerkats i got given for christmas as a bit of a joke and um, <laughs> the batman there and the Superman from the animated series, I got that was as a kid. I was probably about maybe sort of seven, eight, something like that. Uh, these are from the Batman, the, the New Adventures um, line. And that's the Woman, Wonder Woman from the animated series. Got those maybe when I was about 10, 11. Um, that was right when the Justice League animated series was starting out. And then Batman Beyond, I brought him a few years ago myself I just because he looked cool. <laughs> Um, oh, and I got a small collection of of heads, heads. In there that I'm using at the moment for pictures. Oh, and then battle ready Batman, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking at the top of the room, we're beginning with the DC EU shelf. So we've got the Parademons with Steppenwolf moving slightly along. You've got Cyborg, Flash, Wonder Woman, Soup's Batman, oh. and Aquaman. I mean, they, they just look really cool together. I couldn't resist putting them all together on the shelf like that. See, that's Superman. Now, that Mezco Superman's pretty special. And Mezco need to make another Superman very soon. They really do, because he's just fantastic. They kill it every time they make uh, Superman fil uh, figures like they used to. Black suit um, variants? Yeah, exactly. Oh, can you imagine if they did Kingdom Come Superman? Why would they not do oh, that? Oh, oh yeah. that, would, that would sell out quick. Yeah, why would they not do that? They'd look fantastic. So this is the Arkham Knight. Wow. Along with uh, some of the rogues from that Those game are series. Details. 
And moving into the superheroes now with Oracle Robin, Batman. The Titans Robin. Yes, the, he is the <laughs> Titans Robin. That money suit. Ma- minus the head. Batman, I recently got that Batman. Now, he's the original Batman with uh, the non-battle damage suit. Beautiful okay. figure. Absolutely amazing, even if his head's too small. I mean, if you look at Batman and Robin together there, he's yeah, got a pinhead like... Batman has. <laughs> um, one of the best Nightwing figures ever made, if you ask me. What Possibly. a spectacular figure. Possibly uh, Titans suit, maybe? Uh, yeah, Titans suit could, could very well eclipse it if McFarlane do a figure. You got mm. Red Hood, Gordon, and those are all Coleman, seven inch. That's real. Yeah, oh, all seven inch. Azrael is sick. Azrael's amazing. I did a picture with him earlier. Which the I'm gonna upload. Yeah, did a picture with him earlier. I'm gonna upload that later on. And this is the Arkham Origin shelf, right? You got a black mask. TV. Black mask. Yeah. That's such a hard, that's an expensive figure. Yeah, he is super cool, and he always falls off end of the stand. But um, uh, next to Deathstroke, ooh. need to do some more pictures of these figures. Don't feature them often. It goes um, too. In behind him, you can see there Orion, which I've never taken a picture of. <laughs> um, and the Electrocutioner. Electrocutioner, he is such a cool figure, you know. Amazing the best detail battle. on him. Uh, it's like not even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Firefly, who is hanging on by a thread there. I think he may even be leaning on Deathstroke and Copperhead. Because he just falls apart. Uh, Joker, of course, with Batman next to him at the middle. Deadshot, who is awesome, and Red Hood, Joker. A few other random figures there as well. I've got Bizarro at the back. Rorschach. Teen, Rorschach. Um, Miss Quinzel. And uh, Anarchy, Anarchy as well, just over the top. You have some pretty cool figures, especially ones that they don't get enough love. <laughs> so I hear by the. the TV, uh, the latest Justice uh, League that I'm watching, along with my three oh, favorite figures oh. at the moment. And what a three to pick! So you got the the Jack Joker there. It's the camera all focus. Get that face! Oh, it's amazing, man. Honestly, the head sculpt is just sensational. You're so lucky. Next to uh, the Batman, the Mezco. and then of course Alfred. Alfred is just so cool. A Mattel that stands up next to a neck and a Mezco. It's crazy, isn't it? Like three completely different companies with totally different ways of working. And they all look so cool together. And that Jack suit, act, it just really does go for- perfectly with them. Yeah, it's a nice classic Joker suit. It really is nice. They've got the, the long barrel <laughs> gun from the, uh, from the figure arts Joker. There's, yeah, he's freaking awesome. Can- there's got to be a way you could pose him with it pulling out of his trousers. Yes. Funny you should mention it. that. I really want to try and have a go at that one day. Uh, uh, so now moving around, oh, it's a lot of boring coats. And then uh, on the floor here. Behind glass. Is uh, the bat oh, wing. Oh, that's Coll- Collapsed down, the wings of which are in the cupboard behind it. Uh, that wardrobe is behind it, I should say. Um, yeah, that thing's just, it's too enormous to even use. Take notes, uh, people. <laughs> here on the floor, we've got the bat pod, the Mafex bat pod, which is just spectacular. The Batmobile. That thing is killer. Uh, it's amazing. The table, the, the uh, <laughs> I've been using for pictures lately, uh, the, the Batman display. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to do a, yeah. Uh, a real world thing. I just need to try and find the key for it. Here we go. So the Batmobile that uh, changes. Ooh. Seem to be really careful with this because it's so fragile. It really is. Triforce built something amazing, but something also that breaks every single time you touch it. Now, if this will work for me. That thing looks so nice. Now, this is going to be interesting to see. Oh! <laughs> so sick. Especially yeah, the little cool. guns at the top. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And no one cool. I've ever seen has that but you. Or at least takes pictures of it. Oh, my God. 
gosh. No, it's pretty cool. It's a nice little piece. It was expensive, but um, worth You it. had even the odds. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, absolutely love it. That's the stand underneath it is a stand that I use on my computer desk there to uh, put figures on when I'm doing pictures. Just a TV stand, it's nothing fancy. Um, That's brilliant. But uh, inside this thing underneath it is where I keep all my animated figures. And now you, this is going to make collectors cry, so I do warn you. <laughs> This is where all the animated figures are kept. So physically, I haven't got the room for them anywhere. So the all, grey ghost. They're all yeah, they're all mishmashed in together. Missing a head. Player. Yes, <laughs> he is. He is indeed missing a head. He's a duplicate figure though, so I'll be oh, forgiven okay. for that. Ah, oh, two, nice. cre- two creepers for some reason. I don't know why they're on there. Um, but yeah, they're all just chucked away in a, inside there. And they've got the Batman as well, the Nightmare one. Yeah, the classic custom. Sky custom. A few random things in there. I've got the McFarlane uh, wild wow, card God. figure. He's, he's freaking awesome. Some Batman Beyond Jokers. Um, got some of the rocks. Some fire. Some moss. Some moss as well, yeah. Um, the one below it is just full of the bigger animated figures. I'm not going to open it because it's a pain to open. But it's yeah, it's a few. Few random things in there, like you, you've got everything lovely set up on a shelf. Mine are all stuffed away in a, in a uh, wardrobe. Yeah, but look at yours though. You have a much nicer like display behind glass. <laughs> and I switch the cabinet light on for display. There we go. So opening and up the, the cabinet. DVDs. Oh, I feel like I'm seeing a treasure chest. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I've got the Lego Batmobile in there. I don't know why, but it's there. That's sick. Um, all the DVDs, Justice League, and all in order of chronological. You won't find a Marvel in there, folks. <laughs> no, there's no Marvel in there whatsoever. Uh, uh, I love this all. show. But there we go. So just this is kind of What's like your Mattel. And, oh, yeah, okay. It's like, it's like your Mattel and DC collectible shop. It's all just random stuff mixed in together. It's got okay. the Mafex Batman there, Batwoman with Robin and. Dick, Let's um, go beyond. Robin and Dick Grayson. Uh, Dick Grayson, uh, super girl, a... she is awesome. I think it's cool you left him like that, Dick Grayson. Yeah, I definitely wanted to. I can't really get close enough without knocking everything over. But um, yeah, he's he's a fantastic figure. Dead shot the back, talent. Ah, I wish my ben talent Affleck. was. Need to get a talent again. Ben Affleck, Batman, spectacular. That's... Might be their number one Batman figure. And there's number two. <laughs> um, Bruce Wayne. He is an absolutely amazing figure. And that Batman it's gets underappreciated. Nice. But he's he's fantastic. He really is. Um, he is also one of my favorite figures. The um, Dark Side Superman. Based off the animated series uh, Legacy episode. Off. You can take the mask off, yeah, and the alternate Superman head is all the way back over here. Oh. <laughs> it comes with him, so he's all the way back over there. Uh, and then the Green Lantern Batman, he is just so cool. One of the sort of holy grail of figures like on the bucket list of figures. Yeah, imagine his willpower. Oh, God. <laughs> figure. It just doesn't even bear things. That DC cool Essentials. Is. Yeah, D- any DC Essentials? Um, no, actually. What's that Batman right there? Oh, the Batman behind. Uh, that is, oh, that's Young Justice. Uh, let's have a look. I can't even properly no, see. Oh, no. That's not Light's yet. blinding me. Let's bring him out without knocking anybody over. Oh, so this is the Jason O'Mara Batman uh, from yeah. Son of Batman. That is a nice looking mm. figure. Yeah, he's an amazing looking figure. Nice cape. Very sleek. Mm. Not much posability, but he's a fantastic figure. Please don't fall over. Yes, perfect. Um, above, we've got the Arkham City and Asylum shelf. Dang. Sort of big, massive that. baby Dang. in the background. Grundy. Grundy is he <laughs> Next time Grundy, is, Grundy is huge. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of the scale, looking at that there. He oh is standing up. Goodness. He isn't on a stand. Bane's on a stand. He is. No, he's freaking huge. 
I'm Batman not... at the front has to be. Asriel <laughs> is freaking awesome. Uh, Mr. Freeze, got Ivy, Mad Hatter, and yeah. all the main villains in behind. The best one's the ventriloquist Joker. Then, yeah. I and love Joker's that. Joker with Harley Quinn. In Morning? Is that her In Morning outfit? It is, yeah. The um, Harley Revenge pack she was from that came with Batman and that Robin. Oh. Yeah. Scarecrow as well. He is just bad. Look at those fingers. Oh, it's a spectacular figure. Look at the detail. The, the wires going to the hand. That's crazy. It's unbelievable, man. It really is. Such a spectacular figure. Let's Catwoman see, as let's, well. Let's see a close-up of that Riddler. Ah, Riddler, yeah. Because you never get to see him in the game, so it's actually cool to see him in a figure. <laughs> yeah. All you have to get here is oh my God. comments. That is a sick Riddler. Yeah, he's fantastic. He's got really nice uh, that face stickle, cane. Yeah, he's an amazing, uh, amazing figure. Really is. Hats comes off as well. Now I understand what you're talking about. That these are underrated figures because I've never seen them all together. Like wow, and the hat comes off. It's the, the scale and accuracy of all of them is fantastic as well. You don't always get the uh, exact same scale with stuff like the animated line or um, Even multiverse. A yeah, Mafex and Multiverse are horrible for scale. They don't ever seem to decide what they're going to do with their figures. But, um, yeah, DC Collectibles nailed it with these ones. And there's Grundy right at the back. Looking Hush. unbelievably angry. That is a fantastic... Ooh, yeah. Hush. Dang. Oh, yeah, Hush, Hush hiding right at the back on purpose. <laughs> got some absolutely killer collection. Thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. It's very cool... Uh, very cool, but not very cool. Oh, 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 oh. I saw ah, him. The next. No wonder it's top shelf. The next. Yeah. Oh, there's one <laughs> slightly above that as well. But oh, this is I have. Are you kidding me? There's more. Yes. I feel like this is an infomercial. But it's, wait. No. Obviously, you have to have them in league order. I love it, and it's also the same order almost that you have them on the on the other shelf, except for Flash. Yes. Uh, at least you got like, Etrigan. Oh, you got new Barda. Gen- yeah, the new Genesis crew at the back. Question? That's figure. Yes, <laughs> que- our question. He was one of another, another of those figures that was on like the bucket list. Uh, valid oh. as well. He, I don't take many pictures of him. People don't really know of Validus or not many did people. recently, though. Mm, yeah. That it beautiful was- Alex Ross, Green Lantern. Dark side, of course, mm-hmm. and then Steppenwolf. That Steppenwolf is amazing, really is. He looks pretty cool, like a like a BAP uh, Robin Hood almost. Alien. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a classic like, animated series version. But um, I mean, of course, I have to I have to show some Batman on there. Uh, the King. Got to, got to show some Batman. I'm a bit of Superman as well. It, just how massive he is, and then he's got like a tiny head, but it's just so accurate. Yeah. Even the pose you have for him is perfect. <laughs> Always try and put a bit more effort in with the Justice League ones. And the Hawk Girl there, the mace that I nicked, um, <laughs> is from that statue right there. Dang. Which is right at the top corner. Of and more house. collectibles. There's with a, the with a, with a few things. And the yeah. Joker's Dio. Dang. That yeah, looks... the big Joker Dio. Just Wonder two random, random Batman. I use them most for pictures, so I just leave them out. And then got Simon's beautiful artwork on the wall as well. What was this yeah. Simon you speak of? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Simon of Batman, the animated fan, for anyone who doesn't know. But That's of course you do. Uh, then finally, the top shelf. Oh, the top. Well, tippity top. The, the DCAU stuff, and then with the Mutant Ninja Turtles figures as well. Uh, Mikey is so cool looking all the time. <laughs> uh, Batman and Robin with Alfred. Gargantuan. Harry and Bruce. Yeah, Bat the, Signal. The Arkham Gate. Oh, I love Bruce. it. Bruce. Ace. And you have Grey Ghost top shelf. No, yeah, that is Grey Ghost. I promise he wasn't finest. the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, most finest at the back. Then Nightwing and Robin always fall over, so they're relegated. I understand that. 
But uh, yeah, Batman is the, the main focus of that shelf. Um, but that, that is well pretty much it. <laughs> and as well, they should be indeed. And then just at the top, and there's some, more. some random stuff. Clayface, Joker, um, Mr. Hammer. Clayface is huge. He's about as big as Grundy. Maybe he's like tall, actually. Oh, um, man. Don't know. He, uh, he is one of the coolest figures that has been made. Really amazing. And they've got the 10 inch Justice League Batman, um, <laughs> who's cool, but not very photogenic, to be honest. He's just pretty static. And then recently got the Origin 75th anniversary Batman. He's cool. Just, just behind it, got the Batmobile and then the Dyer set. Yeah. Which, but yeah. With the exclusive Montoya. Yes. Indeed. Your but collection that's... is outstanding yeah, and a lot pretty... more uh, in depth than I even initially thought. <laughs> well, it's something I've never really shown to people. I've, I forgot to mention the Bat Cycle there. I've got that on display on purpose. But, um, yeah, it's um, something I've not really shown to anybody before, the collection. Um, it's quite a lot of people are surprised by how much that I've actually gathered over time. And even Surpre- more is gathering dust underneath my bed as well. So. Ah, in the shelf, the broken yeah. figures, rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. As I know you said you have a couple of figures in the shelf, and that's like where I keep all my... like. Uh, my army building figs, like the Rick Flags and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, close this so I can actually see a bit easier. That is, un- that is an unbelievable collection. I had no, I had, oh, I thought it was about half that size. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. It's because of the Arkham figures. There's just so many Arkham figures, but and they're like an addiction. You know, you get one and you just gotta collect them all so you can do all these different scenes and various setups and things like that. So uh, it's gonna be done. Oh, it's an addiction. It, it is an addiction. Yeah, we're both victims. I think that was a lot more fun than going over the episode today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be uh, revisiting the episode uh, in our next episode. Which Cat, is Cat, Cat Scratch, Scratch Fever. Fever. Yeah. yeah, Cat Scratch Fever. Looking forward to reviewing that. But uh, no, yeah, I thought, I, I, thought, I thought it was fun seeing all your collection, all the figures stood up, and I love that Joker as well. That's it's definitely nice. It gives me comfort coming home to my collection. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in terms, is there any other news that you want to, that you have before we wrap? Uh, up? Not particularly, to be honest. No, I feel like that's probably about it. I mean, super excited. Do you think you'll get snow down. soon? Pardon, sorry. Do you think you'll get snow soon? It feels cold enough to get snow. It probably doesn't look like it from the amount of sun coming into this room right now. But it's certainly getting that way. I, Hope we get snow soon. I really do, but I doubt it. I was just saying, you could have a really nice cat scratch fever shot if you do. <laughs> I'm hoping that uh, I could get some snow around me because I really do want to go to yeah. a snow shot. But... Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Now you are the one that uh, found and booked our next guest. So if you if you will, I'd love for you to introduce him. Uh, yes, yeah, so our next guest. Um, I believe his name is Trevor. I'm gonna yes. make sure I get. Uh, Make sure I get to the correct count. Here we go. So, yeah, his name is Trevor Williams. He's an awesome guy. He's a, a one six scale photographer who does it professionally. Um, he writes for Exclude Collective, which I'm going to definitely ask him about. He's been featured on things like CNN, StarWars.com. He's got so many fantastic dials and setups, and he is at one six underscore shooter. Fantastic guy. And, um, yeah, and so holy excited crap. to him on. Holy crap, on the last picture he posted. I know. Oh, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely that, ridiculous. That might be um, beautiful than any shot that we see in the actual film. <laughs> I know, yeah. Like, he, he took some amazing Aquaman pictures recently as well with Beast Kingdom, which uh, obviously we've both got figures from them, so definitely going to be asking about that as well. So. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got so many fantastic setups and pictures and um, the diversity of his account as well. It's not just Batman or Marvel or um, Disney or, you know, even he's got Star Trek on there, Star Wars as well. Oh, so he many has different a, things. Even Sherlock Holmes. He has a shot in Crime Alley where it looks 
unbelievably real. It's like real snow. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's pictures, almost it's 3,000 likes. Holy crap. Yeah. Absolutely That'll be crazy. a fun one to talk to, especially with all the New York Comic Con stuff. Maybe he knows some stuff. Yes. Nice. Yeah, he's, he does work with quite a few different companies from what I know, so really excited to ask him about that. And we're no stranger to people that are of Exclude Collective, collective either. Yeah, got the Yankee Tom before, he's, he's a member of that, so really excited to... Uh, Got to have him it. back on soon. Yes, definitely have, yeah. That'll be fun. Well, this is going to be the end of our first uh, video endeavor, right? Yeah, I think it went well. <laughs> it didn't go so well before we started recording. No. My camera, my camera was a disaster, then you couldn't see me because of the sun. Uh, your camera You're... fell off twice and we, we didn't have any clue of the angle. <laughs> Yeah, we but apart both... from that, it was all fine. One was sideways, one was right side up. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm actually looking really, really forward to uh, talking to Trevor. Yeah, so definitely. It will be a matter of hours for us, a matter of seconds for you yeah. guys. But we hope you guys enjoy, and we will talk to you on the other side.